It's been a while since I recorded a video with this topic and although I was absent during November but that month was quite intense in terms of fragrances. Hi everyone, I'm Julien from Scented Moments channel where I help you to discover the wonderful world of perfumery. So in this video I want to share with you the, my latest fragrance additions to my collection and I have here seven and I have some more that are coming. Uh, so very excited for that, but I will talk about them in a different video in my last fragrance haul of the year. So that being said, first fragrance that uh, I added in it, I'm so happy to have this in my collection currently. It's from the house of Frederick Mal, and it's one of the most, if not the most underrated Frederick Mal fragrance. Noir Epice, this one right here. What a fragrance this is. So this is all around spices, has the name implies. It's spices, orange, incense. It's just to die for. <sighs> Absolutely love this fragrance. Noir Epice is, it has this uh, orange peel into it in the opening and it's very pronounced actually then you have the spices you have the peppers you have uh, the cumin the coriander so this this is a bit um it's a bit challenging because of the intensity in the spices but this has an aromatic feel and smoky like incensey aromatic feel very spicy this for me smells like and a lot of people um talks about that every time they are mentioning not a piece that has like a christmas feel uh because of the heavy spices that i use in here but it's a high quality scent it's really one of the best spicy fragrances out there i absolutely love this and i'm proud owner of noir piece by frederick mal next two fragrances now actually the next six fragrances are two per brand uh all niche uh, and these two brands, uh, these two fragrances from the same brand, it's, this brand is very special um, because it's my, it was my first niche brand. It was the first niche brand that I explore and I bought way back in 2017, the, my first two niche fragrances and they were from this brand, Carne Barcelona. And these two are D600 and Ambar del Sur. Uh, so Ambar del Sur, of course, it's an amber scent, has an M implies, and has this beautiful uh, color of the liquid inside with this also beautiful cap. Very, it's quite heavy, compact wooden cap. Um, so starting off with Ambar, Ambar del Sur, so I have the other two fragrances from this line, which I don't recall the name of this line, which is Megalium and uh, Botafumero. This one, uh, Ambarelel Sur, it's an amber, and although it's not reinventing the wheel in terms of ambers, but still, it's a very solid amber. It goes in the same realm of uh, Ambre Sultan, but a lighter Ambre Sultan. Lighter and more cozy, if that makes sense. A bit sweet, warm, spicy, cozy, gooey amber. Oh, but it's so good. It's, it's, it's an amber. It's when you think of amber, you think of this type of amber. I love it. I absolutely love this scent. Sweet, resinous, gooey, sticky. But at the same time, it has an airiness into it. I love it. So it's 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 not uh, overwhelming uh, at all. It's it, it's perfect for this time of year actually. And the other one is D600. This is an iris from the regular line. I have from the regular line. I have El Born, Palo Santo, Costarella, and uh, I think I think that's it. And now D600. So this is an iris. This is. Of course, if you like Dior Homme, I mean, if you like Iris in general, you like this one. Of course, if you like Dior Homme, I think you will love 
D600. D600, it's not as sweet, not as cacao as Jerome. This is more true to the iris uh, note itself. So it's very buttery, powdery, with uh, resinous nuances. So it has a sweetness, but it's like a resin sweet with this butchery, powdery iris. So good. So, so good. So well, you guys. This, imagine the iris of Maison Crivelli Iris Malican, more toned down, more elegant, I would say. <sighs> Beautiful. I absolutely love this. This 600 is signature scent worthy and it's a fantastic iris scent in my, in my opinion. The next two fragrances, uh, these were samples. And actually, um, my next video will be about this topic, from samples to full bottles. Um, and I, I'm so happy that I have these two fragrances in my collection, uh, both from Papillon Artisan Perfumes, where the parfumer is Lise Moore. And wow, these fragrances were love at first sniff. So these are... Anubis or Anubis and Bengal Rouge. These two, first of all, I really like the bottle presentation. This is both are 50 ml and just comes in 50 ml. This is one of the most dark, intense uh, fragrances that I have. Definitely the darkest suede note that I ever smelled. Uh, this is very spicy, dusty, dark, full, rich. Intoxicating. Wow, it's so good. It's so good. And animalic. It has an animalic feeling to it as well. I think it has castorium in here. It's just to die for. This was love at first sniff. I mean, I had this fragrance on my wish list for years, at least three years, because I have a video where I do my first impressions of her sample set back then, and this one was my favorite and still is my favorite and then you have bengal rouge bengal rouge in the complete opposite of the spectrum this is like a gourmand fragrance but it's one of the most delicious gourmand fragrances that i tried first of all the quality of the ingredients of artisan uh, of papillon artisan perfumes is amazing and um, the uniqueness is there this goes it has a touch of chalimar but it goes in a very different direction. It's a very gourmand, very warm, cozy again. This is cinnamon, heavy cinnamon. It has this fresh um, baked bread with vanilla, of course, with myrrh. It has benzoin. So it's resinous, sweet, spicy because of the cinnamon. And again, you have this fresh baked bread amazing so good and honey lots of honey in here yes lots of honey very smooth honey oh, it's so good so so good these two fragrances wow i'm so proud to have them and i have three more on my wish list that i really want to add from this brand which are um tobacco rose Driad, and salome i was very in the fence uh, of, because of uh, Salome, it's very intense and animalic, very indolic and pissy because of the jasmine, but I made my mind and no, I think it's a fragrance, it's a very special fragrance that it deserves to be in my collection for sure. And last, but definitely not least, the last two fragrances that I purchased are both from the house of Amouage, one of my old time favorite brands. And the first one is my first fragrance that is marked towards woman. So it's part of the woman's collection of uh, Amouage. But honestly, that's just marketing. This is, this is unisex, if not this fragrance specifically, if not more masculine even. So the fragrance is Amouage Lyric Woman. This is a tester. That's why it has this cap, but it has the official cap of Amouage when uh, you purchase a tester and when you have testers, this is a cap that they have. Uh, well, unfortunately, because I really would like to have the full presentation, but I mean, this was a banger. I mean, in terms of price, it was one of my best deals. Um, a brand new 100 ml. And this is 100 ml. I mean, it, it 
feels like a 50 ml but it's a 100 ml Eau de Parfum brand new this is one of the best rose fragrances that I tried this is a dark rose a dark red rose with incense resins this is richer and more complex than Amouage Lyric Man Lyric Man is fresh it's a fresh rose and actually Lyric Man is the reason why I love rose fragrances but this one this one is richer it's fuller it's thicker and you have a lot of jasmine in here so it's a bit indolic but it gives body to the rose so here the most prominent notes are definitely rose jasmine and frankincense wow what a fragrance this is and the rose here it's just brilliantly done brilliantly done it's really this carnal red rose dark red rose incense and jasmine wow what a concoction absolutely in love with this fragrance lyric woman is really one of the best rose fragrances out there and the last fragrance that i added it's from the opus line my first opus fragrance from amouage from the library collection uh and recently amouage changed their moved their uh bottle presentations or yeah changed because they didn't move to the regular collection it's still library collection but they changed the bottle of the library collection fragrances to their regular um bottle presentations of amouage for the men's um that are marketed towards men um so yeah this this is the original bottle which i'm very happy to have because i really do like this bottle presentation it's very unique and this is opus 6 this one right here and i still have i still kept this kind of uh, notebook in here um which i can take it off so this was also brand new 100 ml eau de parfum and this also started from a sample and actually the sample that i still have but few drops left um i reviewed opus 6 from that sample it was one of my first reviews actually in this channel it was my second or third review back in 2018 it was love at first sniff and still is uh this is brilliant finally i have this this is it has sichuan pepper and it has the same sichuan pepper of journeyman also from the same brand but then this goes into a different territory this is a traditional amouage scent spicy very spicy very resinous incense fragrance so we have here myrrh you have amber heavy dose of labdanum actually actually labdanum is i would say the most prominent resin note labdanum myrrh frankincense and pepper sichuan pepper absolutely brilliant scent and it's so intense and rich and regal it's breathtakingly amazing absolutely love this bottle presentation opus 6 and i i don't know because amouage they well they changed they kind of reformulated this line the library collection so they changed the the bottle presentation nowadays it's in their cur in in the usual men's uh bottle uh from amouage and um they actually discontinued some of the opus uh, i don't know if this was discontinued or not actually i'm not sure because this was this one it was first released it was one of the most popular fragrances from amouage um so nowadays i don't know if they moved to the normal bottle presentation or if, if they discontinued because they discontinued some uh fragrances from this line and um if you want to have more information about that check out uh sebastian's from the perfume guy he has a video dedicated to the uh, discontinuations of Amouage. It has some months, but uh, I think it's, you have that, you have there a lot of specific information about this, uh, this subject. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what fragrances did you recently had? Uh, have you recently had in your collection? I would love to hear those and see you in the next video. Take care guys. Ciao.